Auscultation is an evaluation technique used to confirm chart findings, rule out cardiopulmonary dysfunction, and reassessment of ventilation following treatment techniques to improve bronchial hygiene and ventilation. For breath sounds, auscultation should be performed using the diaphragm of the stethoscope, which is the larger site indicated in the picture shown. Firm pressure should be applied when using the diaphragm. Before auscultation, during your introduction to the patient, listen to the patient talk, noting labored speaking, shortness of breath, abnormal pitch, or pain. Also prior to auscultation, listen to the patient cough, noting if it is strong, weak, or productive, also noting qualities of any sputum produced. This segment will go over auscultation of the posterior lungs. Appropriate places to auscultate on the back are identified in this picture. The clinician must listen to spaces between ribs and avoid auscultation over the scapula to hear breath sounds clearly. The patient should sit upright on the end of the plinth to allow access to the back for the clinician approaching on the right. Listen to at least one inhalation and one exhalation in each spot, alternating from one side of the back to the other to compare sides. Listen to three spaces, at least one in each lobe of the lung. This is a normal vesicular sound. Vesicular sounds are normal in the peripheral lung, soft low pitch with no pause and a 3 to 1 inspiration-expiration ratio. Here's another. The next sound you will hear is a normal bronchofascicular sound, found over the junction between mainstem bronchi and segmental bronchi. Bronchofascicular sounds are high pitch with no pause and a 1 to 1 inspiration-expiration ratio. Here's another. The next sound is a normal tracheal bronchial breath sound, found close to the midline of the back. Tracheal bronchial sounds are loud and high pitched, with expiration being slightly louder and longer, with a pause between inspiration and expiration. Here's another. Make sure your patient is not lightheaded or dizzy from the breathing. If the patient is okay, you are ready to move on to the sides of the lungs. This segment will cover auscultation of the sides of the lungs. Possible auscultation sites for the side of the lung are pictured here. Ribs should be avoided and intercostal spaces should be your target for listening. Once again, three spaces should be listened to going from side to side to compare, listening for one complete respiratory cycle. Here is a normal vesicular sound. Note the clinician comparing bilaterally. The patient's arm is raised for ease of view in this video, but may be rested at the side. Once again, check your patient for lightheadedness or dizziness before moving on to anterior auscultation. Possible places for chest auscultation for the anterior lungs are shown here. Avoid the ribs and sternum listening to the intercostal spaces. Once again, three spaces should be listened to going from side to side to compare, listening for one complete respiratory cycle. Here is a normal vesicular sound. Followed by an abnormal bronchial sound. And a normal bronchovesicular sound. Now, an adventitious sound known as crackles. And a normal tracheal bronchial sound. Adventitious bronchi.